Today, the human body remains a mystery to medicine with the emergence of new diseases, and how they occur in humans, often silently and deadly. Kevin Daly was well aware of the importance of staying active and eating well. As a kid, he was heavily involved in athletics and made sure to keep active and eat healthy foods. Still, he struggled with weight issues. He lived in Hoboken, New Jersey, where he worked as a financial planner. He was in his 60s, which meant it was becoming harder to lose weight, especially in certain areas of the body, like the belly. Kevin knew belly fat was stubborn, just ask anyone who's ever tried to trim down an oversized beer gut. The fat builds there and tends to stay, but after an incident in 2015, Kevin became suspicious of his stubborn stomach. In December of that year, Kevin underwent serious heart surgery for a calcified valve. Fortunately, the procedure was done successfully without any complications, but Kevin noticed something strange in the following days. For some reason, his stomach appeared to have grown in size after the operation. This didn't make any sense to Kevin. How could heart surgery increase the size of a stomach? The surgery also caused Kevin's shoulders and chest to atrophy, which made his protruding stomach even more noticeable. Not only was he concerned about his overall health, but he now felt self-conscious about his appearance. Naturally, the first thing Kevin did was visit his doctor and discuss his concern. The doctor, however, really didn't make it seem like it was anything to lose sleep over. Kevin was in his 60s, and with middle-aged men, it's just how it is. Even though Kevin's doctor told him it was a fairly normal thing for older men to accumulate fat in their stomachs, he encouraged him to develop a strict exercise regimen to lose the belly weight. Since Kevin stayed active throughout his life, it wasn't a problem to hit the gym regularly. For the next two years, he worked hard to burn off excess fat, and when he returned to the doctor in 2017, he was showered with praise. The doctor was super proud of Kevin. In total, he shed 34 pounds. Not only did he feel healthier, but the doctor told him he had the heart and valves of a 20-year-old. But, something was still off. Kevin had worked his butt off for the last two years, but not a single pound came off of his stomach. He still had a gut, and although his doctor was happy with his progress, he did admit Kevin's stomach needed a closer look. So, the doctor scheduled him to return for an abdominal CAT scan shortly after. This would get to the bottom of Kevin's seemingly irreversible stomach fat. When the day arrived, Kevin had all the necessary tests done, but the results were not what anyone expected. To Kevin's horror, it wasn't fat that accumulated in his stomach. Tests showed he actually had a massive growth that was increasing in size. There was no amount of exercise in the world that would get rid of a tumor that was estimated to be the size of a cat. Kevin was terrified. For a second I was vindicated, and then I was completely panicked, because when a doctor says that you have an extremely large mass, you assume that you have a cancerous tumor growing in your stomach," said in an interview. At Lenox Hill Hospital in New York City, doctors consulted with Kevin. Dr. Julio Texera took on the case, and he scheduled Kevin for surgery to remove the mass, which was a type of cancer called liposarcoma that grew in fat cells. Kevin was nervous when the day of the surgery came, like anyone would be. Invasive procedures always pose a risk, but Dr. Texera knew how to handle the mass. The surgery also brought a massive surprise to the doctor. He knew it was going to be the biggest tumor he ever removed in his career, and he estimated it to be about 12 pounds or so. However, when he took it out, the entire thing weighed 30 pounds. That's like living with a one-year-old child in your stomach. Miraculously, the surgery was a success. The doctor did have to remove one of Kevin's kidneys that was enveloped by the mass over the years, but other than that, Kevin was back to his old self, 
and 30 pounds lighter. Kevin's tumor was a perfect example of why people need to listen to their bodies and when something doesn't feel normal, schedule a trip to the doctor. However, if your body won't divulge hidden anomalies, there might be someone that can give you a second sight.